Computing the damage after the European Union hits the software company with yet another massive fine. $1.35 billion. It is the biggest ever penalty handed out by the EU. They say Microsoft failed to comply with an antitrust ruling. So is the EU out of control? Let's ask our next guest, Fox News legal analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. And Judge, let me just put a fine point on that fine. The maximum potential fine that they could have received was 1.5 billion euros, which would actually be a lot more. They, they received 899 million euros, which calculates to 1.35 billion dollars. But I'm not exactly sure what they received the fine for. Can you explain? Yeah, the, the numbers are staggering, uh, David and Liz. Basically, the uh, EU Commission that regulates commercial transactions in Europe said to Microsoft, let's see, you settled this case in the U.S. because you wouldn't let competitors' software work on your hardware. What we want you to do is to give us the documents, give us the technical information so that we can tell competitors in Europe how to make software so that it will get on your hardware. And Microsoft said, no way, we're not going to give you that. And the EU said, okay, we're going to fine you 2 million euros a day until you give that to us. And finally, Microsoft said, uncle. And when the 2 million euros a day got to 1.35 billion, Microsoft said, here's your check. And anybody that wants the technical specs will license it to them for a mere 10,000 euros, a flat rate, so they can make their software work on our hardware. Was that enough to satisfy the EU, though, Judge? Yes, it was enough to satisfy the EU, although yeah, perhaps because Microsoft let this go on, Liz, it's a great question, for as long as it did, it provoked the EU to open up two more investigations of Microsoft. Now, we don't even know what they're looking at in those, but they announced when they received the 1.535 uh, billion, by the way, we're about to start two more investigations of you. So Microsoft's utter defiance of the EU has resulted in putting it in the dock. Again, we'll have to see what that case is and where it ends up. Now, Judge, under EU law, dominant companies, and I'm using their phrase, dominant companies like Microsoft have an obligation not to impede competition. Not talking to monopolies here, something called dominant companies. It sounds like it was written by a socialist, doesn't it? <laughs> what I do mean, they, they mean by well, dominant companies? I mean, isn't, that, isn't it fair to compete with a competitor? In, in, in European speak, which basically stems from uh, not the free market system we have here, but a cradle to grave, the government will take care of you system if you become too big and too strong. Not a monopoly, but dominant, meaning something close to 50% of the market, which you've acquired on your own through your hard sure, work, yeah. through selling a product that the public wants. You then have to make it easier for competition to take you on. Fortunately, we have a constitution in this country which which would prevent such a law from existing here. Judge, we're going to bring in the panel, and I remind all of our viewers, Microsoft once wasn't dominant. It started in a garage right. with the Bill Gates dropping out of Harvard, and Peter Schiff and Mike Norman, you know, Mike, you can take this first. I'll let you go here. This is almost, it seems to me, like telling the fastest Olympic sprinter, hold on, slow down so the other guys can catch up. <laughs> well, it That's is, outrageous. <laughs> it's outrageous to us, but listen to, to what the judge says. I think he's absolutely right. And by the way, what was Microsoft thinking? They're not, it, it's not playing, you know, within the rules of the United States with its fair and co competition. It, it is, the, the, as he said, the judge, this cradle to grave society where everybody is taken care of. And if you start to get the slightest advantage over somebody else, a competitor, you've got to relinquish that advantage. So, I mean, and, and then Ridiculous. by digging in their heels and, and having to, you know, incur such a huge fine. And then in the end, they have to give the secrets away anyway, right? And pay the fine. And it's a big fine, even for a company like So non-compete with yeah. your competitors. Yeah. That's, that's the rule that we yeah. have to play well, by. Sure. This, I mean, look, this was a government shakedown of Microsoft. I mean, they're a bunch of thugs. That's what governments do. But, you know, all this antitrust law in our own country, too, it does far more harm than good for competition. You go back to the first uh, antitrust case with Alcoa Aluminum, and you read what, what the judges did. 
Uh, they busted up Alcoa and fined them not because they were a monopoly, but because they were providing a service that was so good that the products were so inexpensive and so so preferable that nobody else could compete, and therefore they were doing something wrong. Surely, so Tom, you side with the European Union. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I got. You got a bunch of cheese-eating socialists versus a megalomaniacal Microsoft. Is that a yes or no? They die in a fiery death embrace. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Like, you've, you've got you know, the, the European. Uh, they, they can't. They, 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 they can't get socialism out of their skin. They've been trying to go capitalism. Uh, capitalism. They've been trying to cut their tax. But it's, it's like it's like. Okay. I think we've had enough adjectives. No, You're on, Brooke. Have we finally found an issue on which everybody can agree? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure Mike agrees yet. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I, let's return to what Peter, Peter said. I, I think it's important here to know we can bash the Europeans all we want. But this all started in the U.S. The U.S. is the one that filed antitrust uh, against uh, Microsoft true, true. 10 years ago. Microsoft used to not lobby at all in Washington. Zero dollars in lobbying. Yeah. Today they spend hundreds of millions of dollars lobbying in Washington. It's American antitrust that started all this. It's Washington that's ultimately at fault. All these governments, it's all, judge, it's all shaken judge, down. And it hurts the, the best, markets. Judge, it what's the best way that Microsoft should deal with this now? Because their last attempt of not paying and digging their heels in ended up with them paying I a lot. Think it, I think they, have to, they have to recognize, Liz, that the EU has real power. It has the power to take a lot of wealth away from them, and it has the power to stop them from doing business in Europe, and they have to play ball with that. Look, if they started licensing this stuff, I think it's socialism, but if you want to do business in Europe, that's what you're, you're faced with. If they, they could have started licensing these, uh, this information... Ten years ago, they would have saved themselves a billion and a half. Is it worth it, Peter? It, it, is it worth it to, to deal with all these rules that we all no, agree are uncompetitive? It's, it's not worth it at all. We should just let the marketplace work. You know, no, they didn't, they, no, but is, it, is, it, worth, that's is that's it worth the, the interest and the finances of Microsoft to go in there, pay the fine, say, look, we can make a lot more money well, than we have to pay I, off well, in obviously fines? Obviously, Microsoft makes not a decision there, and they probably made a decision that it was worth it. But, I mean, I'm, as far as for society, it's certainly not worth it, it for it society is, no, you're to wrong. empower you're government. Wrong. To bust up you're companies. wrong. You're Mike? wrong. Uh, America is the greatest wealth-producing nation this earth has ever seen, and we right. operate not under raw capitalism, but American-style capitalism, which we use. You know, busting up monopolies. Trust the capitalism exists very well uh, with, with the uh, you know the uh, existence of monopolies. Uh, high. Uh, Ten seconds. Existence of monopolies. Okay. We bust that up, and I think uh, the the proof you're is in the pudding here. You're on ten seconds. Go. I'd love to see Microsoft, they won't do it, but I'd love to see Microsoft withdraw from Europe, yeah. let, the Europeans, let the Europeans taste what it's like without Microsoft's product, without this yeah. brilliant well, company. Well, guess how soon they <laughs> steal the product, It won't happen, the way, but it would be on. great to watch. You're on, you and would find more Trump, copying of material than you find now in China if, if they were to do that. And I think they've calculated the risk. They can't even copy that well. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. But, but right, no, well, but note that that's cars. the threat against them. Okay, the against them. It's good to see everyone's impassioned by that. The closing bell is just over an hour away. We're down more than 20 points on the Dow. But the NASDAQ is up, so there is some positive news to report. Be sure to email your questions, Liz and Dave, at foxbiz.com.